Welcome to every movie I've ever seen. This is a special flashback February edition where throughout the month of February I'm going to be talking about movies on the anniversary of the day they were released. Uh, the movie that I'm going to be talking about today is Black Panther. Uh, this came out February 16th, 2018. So that makes it three years old. Uh, I didn't get I didn't I didn't get to rewatch this either like a couple of these movies that I've done, so forgive me if I say some of the same stuff. But I don't have this on DVD, and I'm not subscribing to Disney Plus. I don't see that happening for a while. Uh, so it's I haven't seen it again since the first time I saw it, which I didn't see it in theaters. Like maybe I saw it in 2019 or something. Uh, I wasn't really in a hurry to see this or any MCU movie in. I haven't been in a hurry to see any MCU movie for a while. I mean, I still haven't even seen Captain Marvel or Spider-Man Far From Home. So, I mean... I'm in no rush there. I mean, I'm not even really... I'm probably not even going to see Black Widow if that ever comes out, which I doubt it will. But anyway, I have a lot of problems with MCU and MCU movies, and those problems, they do, they do extend... On to Black Panther, uh, feels like a feels like a touchy subject. Black Panther, because I mean I'm I'm obviously, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not the uh, not the target audience for for Black Panther. So it the movie itself didn't affect me in the ways that it might affect other people, but I don't take away. You know, I don't take away from that or anything like that. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm very glad that this movie happened and that people were able to get out. Were people, that people were able to get from this movie what they did, but like I just didn't, I just didn't get that, and that's it's not really like a fault of anything. It's just like a fact or or, or whatever. Uh, I mean, I, I like the movie as much as I like any other Marvel movie. It's not my favorite. Uh, it's also not the worst Marvel movie. Uh, it's Age of Ultron. So, you know... Uh, I mean, it, it does have a very a very good cast. Uh, I've always been a fan of Michael B. Jordan since way back when I first saw him in um, Friday Night Lights. You know those last two seasons weren't as good as the first, the first three seasons of Friday Night Lights, but he was a good addition to the show in the uh, latter half. And he does a he does a good job playing that character Killmonger. Although, you know, people people complain about Marvel villains; they're kind of just evil version of the Marvel hero, which he very much is. Just evil Black Panther. I mean, he's basically got the same exact suit, uh, just like. I think it's gold instead of purple. Not not that much different, really. Different colors, which is usually which is usually what it is. Uh, what yellow jacket is just yellow Ant Man instead of red Ant Man. But uh, yeah, but I mean, I say he is just like evil Black Panther, but there is a lot of more interesting and you know complexities to that character, he is one of the better Marvel villains, I'll, I'll admit that too. In which, you know, in which way he's also kind of like, he's also kind of right in what he's saying, which is I feel like the only time you really see that in the MCU. You get those weird people who say, oh, Thanos was right. Like, no, Thanos wasn't right. If you really look at what Thanos was doing, you see how extremely flawed it is. Because he's talking about, you know, eliminating half of the life on the universe to, so we can, like, live longer. But we also find out that half the life, that includes, like, plants and animals and trees and birds and fish. So, if it's, if it was just, like, cutting half the people, then that would maybe actually make a difference. But if it's cutting everything in half, that's not solving the problem that's just reducing the problem in half if it's a question of resources since trees and animals are resources and even humans 
our resource for you know production so those weird people who say Thanos wasn't wrong they're just idiots who don't understand things I mean in Endgame he talks about like oh, I'm just gonna make a new universe that's perfect well why can't you just take the universe you already have and fix it by creating more resources If you can just create a whole new universe clearly you can do anything with this infinity gauntlet but that's a that's a whole another conversation for another day when I want to talk about you know Endgame or Infinity War and how stupid those movies kinda are if you think about it but uh, yeah today I'm talking about Black Panther which you know it, it, it was good uh, as good like I said a, as good as really anything else in the MCU as good as Winter Soldier as good as Civil War as good as as good as Infinity War and Endgame, honestly. I don't think they were anything special. I mean, I have my... I have my favorites. You know, I have my favorite MCU movies like Iron Man 3 or Ant-Man and the Wasp. People will... Kind of lose their minds over that. Then I have my least favorites like Age of Ultron and Spider-Man Homecoming. But, uh... You know, Ant-Man... I mean, uh... Black Panther, that's just kind of... You know, in the middle there. Uh, I enjoyed it. I honestly kind of think of like of Wonder Woman for some reason when I think of that, because they're kind of similar. I think they came out. I mean, they're not similar movie wise, but I believe they came out the same year, and it was just also kind of like a big, a big deal, like milestone or whatever. Wonder Woman being a you know, one of the first female-led superhero movies, even though it really wasn't. It's the first good female-led superhero movie, because Catwoman and Elektra weren't, weren't good. Uh, and they both had kind of problems with the third act. Uh, but, I mean, I, I enjoyed... I, I, I enjoyed it all for, for what it was worth. Uh, I liked I liked the characters. I mentioned it had a, had a really good cast. A really good cast. Uh, I mean, I even really liked Andy Serkis in this, which, that's a whole nother thing, saying like one of the two, saying I really liked one of the two white guys in the movie, uh, but I, what Andy Serkis is doing in this, I always like to see, I always like to see a villain who looks like he's just having a lot of fun being a villain. And that's kind of what I got from Andy Serkis. Like, he was having a blast in this movie. Even though he was doing bad things, he was just, he was having a good time. And I always like to see that in a villain. I kind of think of uh, Palpatine in in, in uh, Revenge of the Sith. Once he, once he finally, like, drops the facade and goes full-on Darth Sidious mode, he's just having a blast, you know, cackling and lightning people. And he's just, he's just having a great time, and I love to see it. Uh... But yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess that's all I've got to say about Black Panther.